In today's video, we're going to be going over the rhythm guitar parts for Iron Maiden's The Wicker Man. I'm going to be breaking down the song into its different sections, and then playing them through once fast and once slowly for you. Feel free to re-watch parts as you need. Let's grab our guitars and let's get into it. The intro and main riff of the song starts off like this. <laughs> To play this we start by picking the low E string once and then the E5 power chord twice using upstrokes. After that there's then 5 picks on the low E string. We then play the E5 power chords like we did before. On the third time through, instead of playing the E5 power chords, we'll be playing down on the C5 power chords. And then it's a quick change up to the G5 power chord for two strums as well. This riff then repeats multiple times throughout the song leading into the pre-chorus. The song then moves to the pre-chorus. Picking up from the last bar of the verse, it goes something like this. So instead of going back to the E chord after the G, we go to the D power chord. We then play one E chord quickly and switch down to the C power chord. We then move up to the G power chord twice, and then on the third time we move our index finger down to the ninth fret, then another E power chord, and then back to D. This section then repeats. The next time, instead of going up to the tenth fret for the G chord, we play it the octave lower on the top string on the third fret. Then we have two C power chords, and then we repeat this. On the last time through, we remove the last C chord and play a D power chord instead. consists of five chords, E, C, G, D, and A. The only thing that changes here is where we play them on the neck. The first time through, we play five E power chords in the open position. And then it's C times five, G times five, A times five. The next four chords are E power chord five times, up on the 7th fret, the G power chord 5 times up on the 10th fret, the C power chord 5 times, the G power chord on the top string 3rd fret 3 times, and then 3 of the A power chords. This section then repeats, and then we head back into the verse, pre-chorus, and then another chorus. <laughs> If you're finding value in this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash the like button and subscribe, as this really helps the channel. The next section of the song is the solo section. The rhythm part underneath this section is a slight variation on the part we learnt earlier for the intro slash main riff. It goes something like this. <laughs>
The second part of the solo, the rhythm part, changes. It goes something like this. <laughs> So we play this by playing the root note of these chords four times and then the power chord one. So it will be B, A, G, A, and then B, A, G, C. This repeats twice. The guitar then goes back into the previous rhythm for the interlude section. <laughs> The outro section is four sustained chords repeated four times. These chords are E, C, G, and D. This repeats four times, and on the very last time, we play an open D chord that rings out to end the song. Thanks for watching. Let me know if this helped you play The Wicker Man by Iron Maiden. You can check out my full cover over here.